Hey folks, Quilly King here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play the Excellent uh, Through the Ages, A New Story of Civilization. We are currently uh, near the end of the age two over here, so uh, more than halfway through the game in terms of the cards, but the last couple of ages you tend to have more actions, so sometimes, well, you have more actions but you tend to take more cards, so we're probably more than halfway through to be honest. We got uh, Freddy Barbie over here out, and it is our politics phase. I'm going to go ahead and play Refugees, which will trigger Inhabited Territory. And I would not mind grabbing that, but I don't have any real cards. We'll put in a bit of one, but most likely, and that's not a ton of competition. We'll put in a bit of five. Yeah, and then we can't compete anymore, but at least we made him pay for it. So it would have been a really good one to get, but we didn't have any cards to help participate in here. So, oh, we can't. Oh, my hand's full. I was going to say, why can't I grab Robespierre over here? Um, but it's interesting because... Oh, there's no way for me to do it. I was going to say, I could revolution to constitutional monarchy just spending my red pips instead of my white ones. The problem is, while I have enough science to do that, I need to make room in my hand. And the only way I can do that is really by spending some, some science. Oh well. So we're going to put down scientific method. And I clearly want to do an upgrade right away. So that's going to happen. Um, I think we need to worry about our military just a scooch. I'm going to use Freddy's ability here to get a second Kniggit, uh, which means we have two medieval armies, and now we're tied for first, and I feel very, very secure. So, I mean, obviously that uses resources, but I think I'm kind of okay with that. Now, next turn we're going to have seven science, which means we can dump the coal. We can basically ignore alchemy. Um, alternatively, next turn we'll have seven science, which could allow us to do the um, revolution to monarchy by using Robespierre which would give us three culture by doing it. He also gives us a red pip while that's happening. <sighs> hmm. I mean, we could grab cannon with the intention of developing the uh, fortifications here, but I don't know. Nationalism, eh, it's not really a wonder to grab. Justice system, we don't really need. We've got uh, the code of laws over here and it's rather expensive right now. That's, that's all too expensive to really consider. Uh, I mean, we could even for really cheap. It would cost us an extra token to grab Republic. Hang on a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right, I can't do it because my hand's full. Damn it. Because... Well... If I developed alchemy instead of scientific method, because it's cheaper, then I could do the revolution to Republic this turn. Is that better? I mean, alchemy is not terrible. Um, no, I think I'm happy with skipping it. I think I'm okay with where we are. So do we do the constitutional monarchy change next turn? Probably. I think we do this and that. And for our last action, we could upgrade this. Oh, I can't grab opera because my hand's full again. Although I could play Max, and you know what? I'm gonna have to, because the age might end, and then we'll lose an extra action. So there we go. Uh, Wave of Nationalism is not gonna be that helpful, because... Yeah, we're not gonna have that many stronger civilizations than us. So I could grab a card, but I've got tons of science to develop as is, so I think the best way to end my turn is actually just to upgrade Iron over here. It'll pay for itself very quickly. And I'm going to be okay with that. And yeah, with the fact that we picked up a yellow pip island, we have a ridiculous amount of food production right now. There's a risk that we'll be using up too many blue cards with the idle um, food. So it is very important that we actually go and develop our, our government so we have more actions so that we can raise our population more often. Military-wise, still feeling okay. I mean, Red might go and buff herself up a little bit. Oh, she plays Isaac, she'll drop a little bit of strength, but Isaac Newton is such a great leader. Every time you develop a tech, you get a civic action back. It's crazy. Scientific breakthrough, which yellow has a lot of, but I have a fair amount of two, so I'm quite okay with this. Uh, I think I'm still in Warriors, right? So picking up those riflemen would be really good for me. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like Napoleon. Blue is taking it. Rifleman would cost two. Uh, we discard alchemy, which is fine. Lose some yellow pips, but we had some extras, so that's also okay. 
Um, we could just load up an international agreement, which helps the strongest. We're not that far away. Acceptance of supremacy. We can't attack each other. I could just say, hey, yellow, I can't attack you, and then I get extra production. Let's give it a try. You reject it. Okay, well, that's the entire philosophy, or, um, uh, politics phase. So, I guess that's fine. Now, I actually have enough science to just develop constitutional monarchy peacefully because we got an event that gave us extra science. The thing is, the revolution costing me all of my military pips doesn't bother me that much. It would also give me three culture for making the change. And leave me with extra science for developing other things, which I think is the way to go. So we do that. Thank you, Rob. Now, what's my culture situation? Fine as a total, and actually no one's making a whole ton of points either. Now, we still don't have enough left over to do the coal, which is too bad. We still have this engineering genius and no wonders to take, which is kind of annoying. And we're going to do that to consume some cubes for waste. I think we get the riflemen. We can develop the riflemen, and actually, we are going to go ahead and not have anything to upgrade. Uh, because we don't have any actions. I mean, I could still spend it, but there's no reason. So... You know what? Hang on a sec. I'm gonna grab navigation and play it. So I can no longer grab the rifles, but I got a strength boost from that, and it'll also help with colonization stuff. I think that's better-ish. Oh, and then I guess I can just build something, like a new lab. There you go, no waste, more science. Eight science per turn is actually really quite good. I can even build a third one of these. Yeah, food production, I'll, I'll be generating and pop every other turn, more or less. No discontent workers, blue's got a bunch. I think I loaded that in there because I had tons of happy, didn't I? I think so, I'm not sure. Can't believe you rejected that pact. I'll just have to attack you now, rub it in, or something. We got our age three stuff starting to come in. Uh, I think that was pretty strong. Some aggression that way. Yellow is losing some light bulbs. Do I have any aggression cards? No. Let's say I might be up to aggression yellow, but apparently not. Oh, right, I spent all my, my red pips um, with the revolution, so didn't draw any new cards. Wealthy territory. Now, we do get a lot of strength because of the extra thing, which is nice. We do have one of these. If I do that, that's ten. Yeah, I'm going to make a stab at that. I think I'm going to leave it at 12 over here. I think I'm going to let you have it. There you go, you go down to strength 5. I'm relatively... I mean, you can rebuild it fairly easily, especially with getting the extra production. But I'm kind of okay with this. You're going to have to spend actions, you know, growing your pop again. Yeah, you're going to be somewhat limited by your food. An attack now would be great. I'm going to run international agreement here. Second strength, so it's easy, it's safe to do things. Um, and I could conceivably end up first by the time that comes up. Okay, we've still got riflemen over here. That makes me feel really good. I would love one coal at least being developed just to take most advantage of the railroad. We don't need selective breeding. Grabbing space flight is probably a huge thing. We have slightly more efficient wonder building because of masonry. We have a lot of production between, you know, coal and that. So yes, yes. Do I want to build the rifleman now? I guess is the question. No, I think we have to get the coal rocking by just having at least one. Because we get double value out of this. Um, I guess we can make use of our engineering gene. Oh, uh, I'll use one action to build two stages of this wonder. Rather than waste the engineering gene. There. Engineering Genius is always one action to build one phase, but it makes it cheaper. Now, I have military actions, and I have a thing, and I have some extra whatever. And we're still going to be waste. I don't think I'd bother. I think I just... There's going to be waste anyway, so let's carry over as much as possible to next turn. I'm fairly okay with how this went. Weakest loses a colony. Blue is the weakest and has two colonies. Oh, blue is definitely taking a spanking. Blue, didn't blue lose a war to red earlier as well? I think red is going to be the danger one. 
So far, not a lot of culture production, although blue with three is not going to be too, doing too bad. Okay, aggression successful against blue again with the raid. Now, I just drew a lot of cards. Hopefully, I drew an aggression, and blue being spanked so hard might make it difficult for him to rebuild much of a military. Sort of depends on what's on the tray. Tanks and rockets coming up might give them some funky options. You having the cruise liner is going to be interesting. You're not producing much food, but you don't need it anymore. Modern infantry. Okay, well, blue can't get it, at least. Uh, they each have plus three strength from the alliance. That's a little bit annoying, because I only have a five-point edge over blue, so almost certainly an aggression would fail. So we'll just load the deck with stuff instead. I'm one of the two weakest right now. Depending on what blue does, I could become the weakest. Wow, he's got no buildings. If I'm the... Oh, see, I am the weakest, so now I'm a little lot... Very leery about loading an event in here. So I'll probably just skip. We got the double cannon thing. This is about to come through. Developing cannons seem to be a pretty good thing. But we also need modern stuff. So with this at least I can do upgrade actions. So certainly we're gonna do this. If I upgraded to this tactic, because this is currently giving me four strengths, and I've got two of these, I'll have one of these, but it's going to be for eight. Right? Yeah. There you go, four extra strength. Uh, it'll break easy if I do colonization, so we could consider getting an extra dude. Is this four points off? Yeah. So let me just play this, and we'll wait to trigger it, because we get bonuses for a technology card. So this way it's on the cusp of ready to trigger. Grabbing technology cards would be good. Sid Myers means we get less science, but we start generating culture from this. Um, we've got Gandhi as well, if we want to avoid being attacked and just generate more passive culture without costing us science, which is probably a lot better. I think we want to switch to Gandhi. So our, our leader situation is, is dealt with now for the rest of the game. Um, so more technology cards. I mean, we grab tanks to be ready to upgrade here, but I think what we do is we grab multimedia, grow our pop, and we'll end up with waste, seriously. I guess we're just going to have to eat it. We do have three cubes being used by this. Leaving this as a placeholder does actually have a bit of a flaw there. But I think that's going to be fine. Oh, well, I suppose I could spend something over here, actually. Uh, yeah, no, not enough for a rifle. But I could build another knight. This will also be helpful if I decide to do colonization. I'm going to do it anyway, even though I'm still going to get waste. It'll give us an extra dude. So, wars, we literally can't do any aggressive stuff. So we get rid of wars and aggression cards. Easy discards. That's very interesting if we can still get a cannon. That's a very strong card. Historic territory. Uh, that brings us to five. Let's make a bid for it. That doesn't break our military combo either. It'll leave me at 27, which is fine. Okay, let's do this. Try for eight. I'll probably let him have it, although that's a lot of victory points. I'm leery about breaking too many things. And at least it weakens him considerably. It is his turn, though, so... It's easier for him to weaken himself on his turn because he can then immediately rebuild. Yeah, so the rockets are will be gone by the time it comes around my turn. Too bad Bill Gates wasn't there earlier. He's my favorite leader, like, tons of production. All right, there goes Sid Myers. He's getting a lot of culture. Red's really not making much culture. Ravages of time, so we have to crumble the university, which does suck because we're going to lose some science out of it. So we went from one culture to science to just two culture, no science. So certainly a downgrade, but could be worse. And at least we have a couple of high-end labs built. We might be able to grab the computers here, which I would not mind at all. Terrorism. Blue has the least culture, so he's going to blow up something from everyone. I'll probably lose one of my labs. <sighs> we want to build up tech levels before we finish Hollywood. On the other hand, it's still occupying three blue cubes, and if another wonder came up, we might want to be able to build both of them, but that's not going to be the case right now. Stupid terrorism. 
Although, yeah, the AI doesn't have a lot of culture sitting around. So... I'm not the weakest. We'll let up impact the science. Which right now isn't huge for us, but we are going to go in that direction. Because I'm going to pick up the computers, and yeah, they did blow that up. We will... Do I want to develop the computers or the multimedia? I mean, we still get science out of this. Computers is five science per. This is only three. It's a lot less, but we can start stacking culture. We don't upgrade, but we can build exactly one over here. Um, that does not leave us... Oh no, that'll leave us exactly enough to develop computers next turn. I like that. And we have no production, there's still going to be some waste. Yeah, I should really not be like that. Do we want to develop communism? No, those, the science isn't going to help. Um, efficient upgrades, not going to be helpful for us right here. Urban growth will be. It'll leave us with just one action, which is kind of awkward. Although, I don't necessarily need to grow this turn. I mean, we can't ignore our military. And it's still a technology we can develop later. Although we don't have, you know, that much science growth right now. I could have gone for the lab just for more science growth overall, but I'm kind of okay with doing this. I mean, the culture is going to be really important. I'm the strongest. Am I right now? Sweet. I can take civil cards worth up to five. Yeah, I don't care about skipping politics. First of all, I don't have any good events, and I can't war people. So I will accept. Skip politics and take five points worth of cards off here. Um, to me, that's going to include oil. I know that's going to cost me three, but it combos insanely well with the Transcontinental Railroad. I would hate to miss it. And I might take mechanized agriculture. If I take reserves or something. If I could take a card that was like instant science, that would be the way to go. But I would like to develop as many of these techs as possible to pop that. But we're gonna, we are going to have to pop that soon. Maybe next turn. Next turn might be drop computers, then finish that. Even though it still is not going to help my science rate that much. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go that way. Grabbing the oil is fine. I mean, there's a lot of the actions from there, but I'm mostly capped on on science rate. So unless I was grabbing a ton of yellow cards, really, that's that's the way to go. Is you can overspend, and I've I've learned to like be more okay with that. Impact of wonders, it's not bad. I mean, we're no longer anywhere close to first in culture. It's too bad we didn't win the historic terrain. Otherwise, we would be. So you went to democracy, which does I think also generate culture per turn. See, there's the internet there, so we might be able to snag that on our turn, depending on how things go. Winston Churchill, very, very, very good leader. No one's taking Bill Gates. He doesn't have the science, Blue didn't have the science to really make it worthwhile. So we go straight to the action phase. So I am going to develop computers, then I'm going to finish this, get some cubes back, score some points, open up the ability to grab the recovery like the which I think is going to be an excellent pick for us. Does he eat all of our actions? But we're only at minus two corruption. Now, it's annoying that we're not going to get enough science to really do anything next turn. So I guess I could instead grab Revolutionary Idea, which is worth six, so that we can actually continue to develop some of this stuff. Which might be the way to go. And then... play it now. I can urban growth to get an age A1 thing for cheap. I can do this upgrade. Yeah, sort of wastes one point of the car, but it's not too bad. Yeah, that's well worth doing. So now we got eight. We can actually develop mechanized agriculture next turn, which wouldn't be too shabby. Um, and we can either grab civil service, which is an extra action above code of laws. And then there's military theory. Which is an extra action and quite a bit of static defense above this one. I can also just grow my pop. Oh, that can actually get rid of corruption, which might not be terrible. And then I can just grab military theory. 
We're not going to run Fundamentalism, I don't think. Uh, Professional Sports does offer us an upgrade over this thing, and it's damn cheap to develop. You know what? Let's just do that. So, we can get rid of War and this Aggression card and one more thing. Uh, well, we're apparently not going up the cannon route, so we're going to get rid of that. Boom. Okay. It's funny that I'm the strongest. Well, it's Gandhi, right? Nuke everyone. Canceling the military alliance. That's going to hurt their, their score. Their, their strength score, which is still good for me. Yeah, I really don't have to really look at developing the military right now. Someone might develop a bunch and decide to go to war, but it costs them twice as many actions to declare anything on me, so I'm not as concerned, and I'm stronger. Uh, we get eight points for the science, which is mad. Someone's got zero science rate right now. Wow. If we can scra snag that democracy, I'd be fairly pleased, although our science rate right now is not great. No one's is very good, apparently. But we definitely don't have enough stored to develop democracy, but we might just be able to keep it in our back pocket and do a late thing. So, internet could conceivably still be on there for us. Red and blue can't attack each other. All right. It could still be on there. Well, as long as he blue doesn't take it, it will be there. Because it's not going to get, like, auto-removed. Oh, there we go. So, we discard some cards. This is this is my final turn? Oh, for crying out loud. Who's got the most happiness? Not me. Although, the important thing is... Yeah, and even red's got more than me. That's not good. Impact to strength might actually be semi-okay. I have the most culture right now. National pride. Good. So, I don't have enough to finish the internet. This is my last turn. It's no go. No one's going to get that much, even if they had the resources for it. So, part of the question is just, what's in here and what can I do? Impact to science? That'd be good. Impact the strength. Make sure I get more points from that. Uh, well, I'll run a revolutionary idea. Although, honestly, it doesn't make much of a difference. I guess it means I can do professional sports and mechanized agriculture. And, I mean, other people will have cards in there. I suppose I could do this and then use it to develop modern infantry, which I wasn't going to be able to. And I can boost my strength to make sure... I can do that. I mean, hold on. I want to build a second computer lab. And that's that. And yeah, I literally can't do anything else. Other than, like, deny other people some cards that they might find useful. They can't play the yellow card in their last turn, so movies and, and rockets. That's literally it. Wow, that ended fast, it felt like. Pact accepted. They each produce an extra little something something. Producing seven per turn, which isn't as much as yellow, but yellow's a little further behind. It's not even as much as blue. So yeah, yellow's gonna get that one time. Didn't finish the wonder he grabbed. Strategic territory. So it actually increased my strength. Here. Boom. I don't need the extra card, so we'll just colonize that. There could be an impact of colonies in there as well. Could be another way to pad my score. Still number one in strength, and I will be. Blue's not going to pass me. So impact of science just triggered. Give me the maximum of plus 15. I've gotten better about remembering the sort of things that can come up here and working around it. There's the impact of strength, so I'm going to get max. More importantly, red was not in second place, so putting a greater distance between us. Impact of population. Okay, he got more there. And more there, but again, I'm not as concerned about yellow. It's it's red that I'm looking at right now. Impact of government, so per civil action and military action, red had more than me, but I mean that's only a four point gain overall. We've got a ten point difference. He's not running Bill Gates or anything. Okay, we've got a twelve point different now because of variety. Impact of industry. Ooh, he had no production. Of course, I had plenty of production. That one was very good for me. Impact of technology. He had more of those level three cards. We still have a 12-point differential, and that was the last card in there. And we win. 200 points is not a super high-scoring game, actually. It was a very different kind of game, this one here, in terms of what people could accomplish, but a very, very nice win nonetheless. And uh, I'm still loving this game. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.